Here is a garland. Mm -hmm. I can't. Oh. <laughs> and this is a tree. Also. Whether even American society is going to have gender roles or wants to have gender roles is one of the most, I think, pressing and sort of urgent issues of like the new millennium. As women enter the workforce in greater numbers and enter leadership in greater numbers, we will see men taking on more non-traditional roles, as we call them, and women taking on executive leadership positions. I think that there's there should be a balance between work and home life. And, uh, and I do think that men should step up and take a greater role in cooking and cleaning. Give up your public life and become my house slave. <laughs> For a man to choose to be a house husband is difficult in terms of his gender identifications. And you know, this, this psychological stuff gets picked up and reproduced within the culture. So it's not just internal psychological pressure that people experience, but cultural pressure. There's a lot of it. Well, the accommodation that men are going to have to make is they're not going to get to run the world. Pure and simple. <laughs> they won't get to call the shots. They won't get to be the ones with all the power. And that's kind of a hard thing to give up. Um, you know, and they will have to do some work that they have not formally had to do. I mean, cleaning the bathrooms, and, uh, you know, that's going to be hard. This is your cleaning box. Now pay attention, losers, because this is going to be your job from now on. Scrub! Put some elbow grease in there. A lot of men are anxious, and one of the ways of controlling that anxiety is to clean the house because maybe you can't control your life, but you can control your environment, and that gives you a little bit of calm. One of the funniest scenes in the play is when one of the husbands of one of Lysistrata's friends comes looking for her and comes to the Acropolis complaining that the house is just in a mess because Marini, that's her name, has been gone. And he even has their infant son with him and says, nobody's fed the baby, the baby is unwashed. And he really, really, really wants to see Marini. He really wants to take her home with him. Hands off, sir! Remember, Jimmy is burning right and ruin in the house! I don't care! But your weaving loom is being pecked to pieces by the cocks and hands. Don't you care about that? And Lysistrata cagely sends Marini out with the instructions to tease her husband, but not to sleep with him, and to extract a promise from him that he will vote for peace in the assembly. And that's exactly what she does. What? Before the child? Son, run home! There, you see? The child is gone. There's nothing more to hinder us. Won't you lie down now? <laughs> what a miserable man. Where? Where? In the cave of Pan, nothing could be better. How shall I purify myself before going back to the citadel? You can wash in Poseidon's water clock. Nothing could be easier. But my oath! You would have me perjure myself in a broken vow to my sisters, defile Poseidon's sacred water clock, and desecrate Athena's Acropolis, abusing it as your personal bedchamber? I will take full responsibility. <laughs> Well, in that case, I'll be off to find a bed.